Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about the orthogonal decomposition theorem. Okay, so let's suppose that we have a subspace here, okay, of Rn. Okay, so that is represented in this figure by a, a plane. Okay, then each, for each y belonging to Rn, belonging to a vector space, okay, this can be written uniquely in the form of y hat, okay, which is the projection onto the uh, subspace of Rnw plus the orthogonal vector, or in this case, this is z, okay, z is acting as the orthogonal complement of w, okay. All right, so this is so to do. This is just an extension on the uh, previous video where I was so where we did the uh, projection of a vector onto another vector. Okay. All right, so we're going to so we can find y. Okay, so y hat can be constructed by using the same idea. Okay, from the previous uh, lesson. Okay, so. Okay, y hat. Okay, we can construct y hat by writing it as, okay, so it's going to be y, the vector y dotted with u, let's say u1, okay, times u1, okay, okay, so u1 is, belongs, belongs to the span of W, okay? So we're gonna have a finite set, or a finite collection of, of uh, basis vectors here. Okay, so the next one's going to be, okay, so we're gonna have Y dotted with U2, okay? Divided by U2 dotted with itself, okay? Multiplied by U2. Okay, and then we can extend this to however many vectors is in W. So let's say there's P of them. Okay, so that's how we can construct Y hat, okay? So if you recall, remember in the last video, okay, if for the first one, right, this is just, so if we just have one vector and projecting a vector onto that, onto another vector, then it's just this part, okay? But now W, okay, so W is a, is a collection of vectors, orthogonal vectors, okay? Okay, so, so W is, remember here, W is a, is a subspace of Rn, okay? Okay, so where u1, u2, all the way up to u and up. Okay. Is an orthogonal basis. Of w. Okay, so orthogonal basis is basically, okay, if you take, for example, u1 and dot it with u2, okay, you're going to get zero. If you dot u1 with u3, you're going to get zero. Okay, all right, so that's what the orthogonal basis is. Okay, so it's basically u, let's say ui dotted with uj, where i doesn't equal to j, this is going to be zero. Okay. And that's going to be a key component uh, later on. Okay. All right. And here, okay, we also have that z. So remember, z. So z is basically the orthogonal complement of w. So we need to show that. Okay. So using this type of construction. Okay. This is a very important part. Okay. So we're going to prove. Okay, I want to prove. that z, okay, so, so z is a vector, okay, 
So Z is belong or belongs to the orthogonal comp complement. All right. Okay, so let's prove this. Okay, so we're gonna let. So we have to state our assumption. So we let u one, uh, u one, u two. You, all the way up to up be any orthogonal basis for w okay Okay, so we know that y can like y hat can be constructed by right, just like we did up here. Okay, so y dotted with u1. We have u1 dotted with u1. Multiply by u1 plus y dotted with u2 divided by u2 dotted with itself and then multiplied by u2. And then for the last one we have y dotted with up. Okay, divide by up dotted with itself. Okay. All right. Okay, so remember that these, right, these are scalar values. Okay, this is a real value. This is a real value. And this is a real value, okay? So basically what we have here is that y hat is written as a linear combination of u1, u2, and up. Okay, those are the vectors, those are the orthogonal vectors in w. Okay. So that means y, right? So y hat must belong to w because y hat is a linear combination of the basis vectors, the basis vectors in W. Okay. All right. So, okay. So then we know, right, Z. So Z is equal to the difference between the vector that we're projecting and y hat. Okay, so what we're going to do, okay, uh, we're going to take z and dot it with u1, okay. So that, that gives us y minus y hat dotted with u1, okay. So this is just y the vector y times u1 minus y hat times u1. Okay. All right, so. Okay, so we have, so if we look at this part, okay, So y, okay, so, so y hat, okay. So we're gonna substitute our expression for y hat, the one that's being, the one that's constructed up here. So we're gonna substitute, substitute that into there, okay. So we're gonna get from here, so we get y dotted with u1 minus so we have y times u1 divided by u1 dotted with itself times u1. Okay. And then times, okay, u1. Okay, so this is 
All right, so this is going to be, right, this is Y, so this was Y bar. So actually, let me just write this out. So let me just, maybe it'd be better if I ex expand on this. Okay, so we have this, okay, times, okay, so all this is going to get, so basically all this up here, y, y, y hat, it's going to get multiplied by u1. So, okay, so we have u1 here, okay, it's going to, we're going to take the dot product. And then the next term, okay, we're going to get minus, okay, so y dotted with u1, right, let's see. Actually, this is u2, and then u2 is down here, times u1, okay? And then this continues on, okay? All right, so what we're doing is we're taking this and distributing it into, right, into each of these terms for y hat, okay? So what's going to happen is that Okay, we're going to get, okay, so we're getting u1 in each of these, okay. So we have, let's back up here, so this is u2, okay, and then u1 is here. Okay, so we take u1, okay, so let me explain this a little bit better here. So u1 is here, and we're multiplying by y hat. So what's going to happen is that when we multiply u1 by this, because up and u1, <coughs> these are different. But they're, you, remember, you, the vectors u are orthogonal. So that means it's going to give us 0. And if we take u1 times any other vector u in here, except u1, it's going to give us 0. So basically, all this is going to give us 0, okay? Except the first term. Okay, so we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get 0 here. And these are all going to be 0. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So now. Okay. We're going to get. All right, let's see. Okay, so we have, okay, so from here, okay, we're going to get y dotted with u minus, okay, these are going to cancel out. This is a, this is a scalar value, and this is a scalar value. So we're going to be left with y dotted with u, 1. And remember, this is all equal to, right? so this is, okay, so this was all equal to z dotted with u, 1, okay? So we have, okay? So let's see what we have here, right? We have y dotted with u1 and minus y dotted with u1. So that's zero. So that means we have zero, we have, sorry, z dotted with u1 equals to zero, okay? So this tells us, right, that z is orthogonal to u1. Okay, so we can do this for each, right? We can repeat this for each or for each vector in U. Okay, all right. So if you go back up here, okay, it, we can take the same format here and dot it with U two. 
and then you're going to get the same result. Okay, you're going to get z times u2 is equal to zero. And that shows that z is orthogonal, orthogonal to u2. Okay, all right, so we can uh, do that for each vector, each of the orthogonal vectors. Okay, so similarly, okay. Z is orthogonal, okay, to U J for each okay, for each uh, for each J for J is going from one to P, okay. All right, so basically that is, right, so this showing that, uh, right, this shows that Z belongs to W perp, okay? Okay, it's very nice, very nice uh, construction. So we also want to show that it's unique, okay, all right? Okay, so that's the next part. Okay, so we want to show that okay that the <coughs> that y okay the vector y which is equal to oh man it just crashed on me man. <laughs> <laughs> 